Canadian country music legend Ian Tyson has died at the age of 89. Tyson started his career in the 50s as part of the folk duo Ian and Sylvia. He then built a solo career as a country music singer. Tyson is a member of the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame and the Canadian Music Hall of Fame. He received the Order of Canada in 1994. Now, This is The National with David Common. Canada has lost a folk music icon with a career spanning more than six decades. Four strong winds that blow How Ian Tyson is being remembered tonight. Next. Four strong winds that blow lonely. Seven seas that run high. A Canadian music icon is being remembered tonight, folk music legend Ian Tyson, who penned Four Strong Winds as part of the duo Ian and Sylvia, died today at age 89. He died at his Alberta ranch after what his manager says was a series of ongoing health complications. Eli Glasner takes a look back at his life and career. Ian Tyson fell into music, you might say. He was riding the rodeo circuit in Alberta when the Bronco threw him and he landed in hospital. While he was there, he picked up a guitar to pass the time. And the was happy then he took the music it was the start of a decades-long music career that took him from the heart of the American folk revival in the 60s Living my life lively, with a handshake and a song to the southern Alberta foothills, where he wrote beloved country and western songs from his ranch. In 1958, he headed east to Toronto and started playing the coffee house scene. Oh, strong wind that blows lonely, seven seas that run high. There he met Sylvia Fricker, who became his musical partner and wife. They became mainstays on the growing folk festival circuit, both in Canada and the U.S. He was uh, very concentrated on 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 our careers, um, and and on his writing. He he was a very serious songwriter. We'll hold each other close in the wonder of it all. Tyson's rich baritone, once compared to a good pull of whiskey, had become instantly recognizable until it wasn't. To put lightning back in a bottle. Like old lovers. In 2006, a viral infection and wear and tear from a festival gig damaged Tyson's vocal cords, leaving him with something more ragged and gritty. Still out there on our own. Towards the end of his career, Ian Tyson said he thought of himself as a storyteller as much as a singer. Canada's cowboy poet, unvarnished, unapologetic and timeless. Our good times are all gone And I'm bound for moving on Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto. If I'm ever back this way Andrew Ch Tonight, the death of Canada's prairie poet Ian Tyson, folk legend, musical icon. Cowboy storyteller who penned four strong winds. Home on the ranch and beyond. He was our voice, so he'll be missed. CTV National News with Omar Sachedina. Reporting tonight, Joy Malbin. Good evening, everyone. Heartbreak hangs heavy in the final days of this year. A trio of legends passed away today. From music to sports to fashion, they were all cultural touchstones, but we begin tonight with the Canadian who provided the quintessential soundtrack, Ian Tyson. He died today at age 89. CTV's BC Bureau Chief Melanie Nagy on the singer, songwriter, and storyteller. Dry land. Lyrics connected to Canada. Big Alberta sky. Particularly the West where he was from. She's a saddle bronc. 
no matter if it was country or folk, Ian Tyson was always a musical storyteller. Everything's fast forward now. Born in BC, Tyson taught himself to play the guitar after he was injured riding in a rodeo. That was the late 1950s, and that accident launched a long and successful recording career. He was the one that that really brought this country into the country music world and the folk world. Tyson's musical journey took him to Toronto, where he dove into the city's blossoming folk scene. That's where he met and fell in love with a songstress named Sylvia Fricker. And they became Ian and Sylvia, um, moving up pretty quickly in the world. The duo's talent and chemistry was contagious. Not only did they play sold out crowds, but they released hit songs such as Four Strong Winds. I can sing this thing in my sleep. In 2015, CTV's Lloyd Robertson asked Tyson about that famous song. It's about the guy and and the, the lovely girl and the big country. He was thoughtful, very intelligent, great storyteller. He interpreted the Canadian West. After more than a decade making music together, Ian and Sylvia parted ways in 1975. Tyson went on to host a national TV show. He was also inducted to the Canadian Music Hall of Fame and the Order of Canada. In his later years, Tyson focused more on country songs, many of which he performed with established artists like Corb Lund. If you grew up a Western kid in, in, what, in Alberta, then Ian's music always loomed very large. While music remained a constant, health troubles eventually slowed the singer-songwriter. He died today at his ranch, located in the foothills south of Calgary. A cowboy storyteller Canada won't soon forget. Melanie Nay, GCTV News, Vancouver. Truly an icon. And in times of turmoil, Canadians turn to Ian Tyson. For strong winds that blow lonely. The prairie poet gets the last word next. All those things that don't change. We leave you tonight with the words and wisdom of Ian Tyson, a perfect reflection of his legacy. I'm Joy Melvin for Omar Sachedina, and for all of us here, thank you for watching. Good night. For strong winds that blow lonely, seven seas that run high. And the wind blows mostly all of the time. Here in Canada, tributes for a folk legend. Ian Tyson has died at the age of 89. Back at home, Canadian folk legend Ian Tyson has died at the age of 89. His music career spanned five decades and inspired a generation of Canadian musicians. CTV's Stephanie Thomas has more. Tyson loved the Canadian landscape, especially southern Alberta, and he lived to write music and sing about it. I'm a long, long way from the yellow hand. Tyson was born in Victoria and taught himself to play the guitar. And he wanted to be a, a rodeo rider, um, but he took a, a pretty bad fall um, in his late teenage years, and he picked up a guitar while he was recuperating. Beginning his career in Toronto cafes, that's where he met fellow musician Sylvia Fricker. They became a couple on and off the stage. Ian and Sylvia were married in 1964, and they became Canadian music stars with hits such as Four Strong Winds. Four Strong Winds that blow It's about the guy and, and the, the lovely girl and the big country. You know, it was the, the locale was always the West.
Ian and Sylvia divorced in 1975. Tyson had a television show on CTV and eventually moved to Alberta, where he worked to protect the landscape from development. Uh, I've always been kind of an outsider. A lot of cowboys are, you know, or they wouldn't be cowboys. He continued to perform and collect honors. He was inducted into the Canadian Country Music Hall of Fame, forever leaving an imprint on the music industry. I mean, if you grew up a Western kid in, in, in Alberta, then Ian's music always loomed very large and, and was a big part of your childhood, really. And um, yeah, he was our voice, so he'll be missed. Tyson also received the Order of Canada and was the parade marshal at the 100th Calgary Stampede in 2012. Tyson admitted he could be prickly. He lived life on his own terms. Irascible, I think, is the term. Always takes me back in time. To... Tyson always said he wanted to leave a body of work that would stand the test of time, and it has. Stephanie Thomas, CTV News, Calgary. And stay with us. Former CTV News chief anchor Lloyd Robertson will share his thoughts on Ian Tyson a little later on this show. Stay with us when we come back. Former CTV News Chief Anchor Lloyd Robertson joins us to reflect on Canadian music icon Ian Tyson. And I won't let you fall. We're rolling down the Milky Way into the wonder of it all. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Akshay Tandon. Returning now to the death of Canadian folk legend Ian Tyson. For strong winds that blow lonely, seven seas that run high. Tyson was best known for that hit single, Four Strong Winds. And joining me now is a very special guest tonight, former CTV News Chief Anchor and Special Editor Lloyd Robertson. Mr. Robertson, thank you so much for taking out the time. It's wonderful to have you on the show. Thank you, actually. And please call me Lloyd, will you? Lloyd. Okay. So let's begin by asking you. It was in 2015, Lloyd, you spent a lot of time with Ian uh, when you had a documentary on W5. Talk to us about the time you spent with him. I had the privilege of being there at the ranch for a whole day with Ian. And uh, you mentioned Neil Young recording that song, Four Strong Winds. Ian tells the story that the royalties from that one song helped him pay for that beautiful place he settled down in, finally, at Longview, Alberta. And uh, it's a beautiful spot. And we uh, were taken up to the little settlement house where he went occasionally to uh, write his music. And there it is. And, of course, he interpreted the Canadian West for people. And he captured the beauty of the Rockies, the beauty of the plains, um, the joy of being a cowboy. He, he captured all of that in that one little place, sitting there, looking out, with the Rockies on one side, the plains on the other, and that in the beautiful Golden West. And that was the environment he loved. He wanted to return to that. He wanted to die there one day, and of course, that's what's happened. To that's him what happened. That. What a wonderful time you must have spent with him. The fact the setting sounds so beautiful and mesmerizing. But let me also ask you, the guitar music mm. did not come to him naturally. It was because he had some injury and he was on bed and then the guitar came to him and then, of course, rest is history. We know him. That's right. And the yeah. interesting thing about Four Strong Winds in that regard is that there was a problem with the chords. They had a mistake in the chords. Don't ask me. I'm not a music. I'll just adjust what happened. But anyway, there was a mistake. But Ian's ear was so good that he said, leave that in. And that captured some of the magic of the song. And, of course, it went on to be the biggest hit with uh, Sylvia Fricker. But he was a very kind, thoughtful, intelligent, very intelligent man. And I think he, more than anyone else, um, and he's right up there, you know, with the mm -hmm. big North American greats like Willie Nelson and Johnny Cash. But I think he really understood the Canadian ethos more than anybody else in that part of the country, certainly. Because he lived it, he breathed it, he knew it. And he rode horses all of his life. And except near the end, and he showed me the horse that bucked him off late in life, and he said, so much for that guy over there. <laughs> right. And there was <laughs> so much was zest in him, uh, Lloyd, the fact that even though he lost his voice uh, because of some medical procedure, music still continued. He continued to play the guitar. He continued to play and he continued to write. Right, yes. And writing was extremely important to him because his last big solo album, one of Juno, was called Cowbiography. 
was uh, written in the late 1980s, and he went to, he, he loved that, and that was all about the poetry of the West and being out there, being on the plains, being on the back of a horse, what that was all about, what that life was really like. He captured that in that gentle, poetic manner of his. If I had to ask you to sum up the legacy and the impact he's had on Canadian folk music, what would you say? I think he captured the West for Canadians, no question about that, in folk music. He started very young, he came to Toronto, uh, got involved in the coffee houses in Montreal and, and elsewhere, and Toronto too. And uh, I think he, he, he grew his music with his own character, mm. and it became a part of him after a while. So that there was Ian Tyson, there was the music, there was the West, all perfectly merged. Lloyd, thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing your journey with Ian and, of course, your thoughts on this day. Lloyd thank Robertson, you. a pleasure to thank have you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And as we head to a break, take a listen to another one of Ian Tyson's hits, Springtime in Alberta. Thank you for watching CTV News Channel. Just like springtime in Alberta.